Natasha, what do you have for us today? Wow, so my guy, come in, go for a little bit. You know you are not alone, right? Today, you know what I, you know, have been telling me, you know, Izo, Ak Ibrahim Sal, you know, generally, you know, have been saying Izo official, Ak, you know, junior graphic. You know, not only that, I know you have been telling me, mashallah, then you know, you go see while on photo shooting, and then they have graphic design. You see it on video, but it's in the other ceremony. I am Izo official. Name as La Isa Sega, as everyone knows. This is my friend here, Ibrahima, known as Junior Graphics. I was uh, I was in Dakar, you know, like for like four years in it. So it was like being there alone, not seeing mom, not seeing dad, being alone on myself, struggling, you know, like trying to motivate myself, mm -hmm. like having this uh, belief that I can make it on myself, like without even depending on nobody. Mm -hmm. So. I've been into a lot of things, like involved myself in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The first thing I can say is like, it's kind of bizarre, like mm -hmm. working as a donkey driver, horse driver, I can say. Then work in the garden, come again and uh, doing this, uh, what the Senegalese people call Masse Ambila, mm -hmm. which is like going around sending your products to people mm -hmm. and like trying to get more connections, you know. So this is where it started. Like I started making up onto myself, helping myself a little by little, try to get whatever I need for myself, you know. At the end of the day, like I went over to a studio, started working in the studio. So I have this ambition and say, yeah, then I think I can really make it onto myself. Like I have been through a lot of things, and I believe with all those ways and ups and downs and obstacles, there is no way that I couldn't make it onto myself. So I just believe and then like try to focus on something. I said, okay, why not let me try the media first and try to see if I'm gonna get people out of this, then I see what else to involve in myself into, which is the next step, which was the, the salon known as Unique Corner Salon, as everyone do know out there, people do come, you know. So this was where it started. With the Masse Ambila, the Dem, 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 we then come together in 2018, rather, yes, 2018 the mid, when I was struggling too, he was struggling. So in the past, we just ended through introducing like friends, introduce my room day dev, after my column day dev, we start collaborating like like I'm a partner business like, so my main business I call him because I cannot do everything alone, because game lah, so where then I play it and I lose at the end. So if you have a chance, you can play a place where they benefit. When you go started, like, I started as a promotion, promoting artists. I must start on like in 2015, 2016, I was promoting artists, people like A2 and others around on Facebook. So no longer to start with me, the main one, the main one, before I keep promoting them, what about trying like, to build something that people also will promote me on? So no longer starting, man, wait, let me enter in this graphic thing. I make t-shirt, put in your picture there. Mm -hmm. So this is the price. Like the company so much charge like two hundred, mm -hmm. I charge them two fifty. Mm -hmm. Just to have the fifty so that I can use that for my own personal use. Mm -hmm. So no longer my business, the company start my guy, reasonable price, so that I can sell it back to my people before my money gave me. So the fifty bow, you are managing, keeping safe in that fifty, fifty, hundred mm -hmm. until Today, like you can see, Alhamdulillah, now we have our own. Today, you're a junior graphics. <laughs> now, today, we have our own <laughs> branch. The shooting, uh, we started like two years back. It was never easy because, like, you know, um, in every way, you must have like obstacles and ups and downs. It was never easy. Like, you have to be struggling just to get what you want. And um, you do meet like a lot of people, different time of people, you understand? But, like, as the work that you're doing, like there's uh, this like maximum, um, how do you call it again? Know how to cope with people in it. Mm -hmm. Because like you meet with different type of people, you should know how to talk to them. Talk less of like uh, a photo shoot is not easy at all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. like you might, you might take something perfectly and the customers wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to like to go to satisfy your customers as a business first. That's your first priority for, I can, for, for what I can say in business. So uh, Isographic is here always like to satisfy the customers and like giving you a professional pictures and uh, a perfect editing 
most of all, which is most important because you cannot take a show like rawly on that and give it to the owner like that. You know, it's like they wouldn't even appreciate what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to make a little bit nice, you know, make everything look perfect. Attractive. Yeah, like attractive, I can say. You know, girls like attractive things, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> so you know, like, I, I, like the, I like to work with ladies that much. Because uh -huh. for them, they don't go for small things. Uh -huh. When they ah. tell, call it photo shooting, like for 25 pictures, they will take 75. Really? And they will turn around, run, <laughs> they will turn their back. They will turn their back. I'll like be very fast to uh -huh. give them pop pop so that I can get more. <laughs> more pictures they pay. And like, they don't joke with money, they pay. Yeah. They just pay. Yeah. They they they're, so they're not like my fellow brothers. For them, it's more complicated. I'm going to guys, I'm not at 50. So you're going to tourists, you come well at 50. Because, like, if you can see, we're the future of tomorrow. If we do not work now, I don't see nobody. I can say we won't have what we're going to have tomorrow mm -hmm. instead. Mm -hmm. And that, that, will be, that won't be the progress of our nation. Yeah. You put yourself into something, try to motivate yourself, try to make it, help your people, help your nation, help one another, build ourselves, and try to make a great Gambia mm -hmm. for everyone. Like I always say, whenever I see, because thank you very much for bringing uh, this topic on the table and even interviewing these people. Because Gambia, we have a lot of people that are talented. I always say this. We are one of the most talented people out here. Yeah. So when I see young people doing such great things in, you know, sectors that we have never really dived into, because photography, we see that most people, we've always done photography, like Nule Def, uh, Natalie, Kerry, Agio, you know, <laughs> we've seen people that have been doing that, but now we are evolving, and it's not only left to the those older men that are taking photos in ceremony. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so the, even I guess even the children, like, the youth, they are taking in such big roles and producing such uh, photos that are clear and vibrant and are telling a story. Mm -hmm. So I believe that um, it's a very good initiative and I, I'm giving them a thumbs up for actually diving into it, this It's sector. okay, Masha Allah. Um, like the Faneka youths, Mohammed Tene, the Faneka youths, 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 yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of this young man because uh, they've revived the art. Usually, growing up in the Gambia, uh, we, we think uh, this art, photo shooting and stuff, is for only old school. Exactly. So, but, but I'm so proud to so see all these young, young, young people coming. Exactly. Yeah, and also, I think um, they are stuck in that old stuff because technology is going to change and change, evolve. Yeah. So, young people are still relevant to the new changes yeah. and everything. So, I'm not going to interrupt. Am I content? Uh, because we normally see our government making, you know, statements that used are lazy. Exactly. So these people are not being empowered by the government. Mm -hmm. And these are the very people that should be empowered. empowered. People are doing what, all what they can mm -hmm. to make sure that they live in a very comfortable life. Mm -hmm. So it is the government that is not doing what is expected of them. Mm -hmm. And that is why when I heard the vice president saying Gambian youth are lazy, I, I feel very sorry for her too because that's actually like an overgeneralization. But no, but people are not lazy nowadays. Now Everyone is looking for something. Everyone is in the world. These people are trying. They should be encouraged. You you have to dignify your youths. Exactly. You cannot just be making statements because you have a, I mean, a place to say so. She definitely has so, to see the effort that they are making. Definitely there are she so has many youths that are making, doing great yeah. things. And they can even their work, like he said. And, and the work you, of art, and art is very important to the Gambian culture. And Isa, you should even be congratulated for doing such a wonderful yeah. job because mm -hmm. um, this is what we are yearning for as Gambians, but equally this is what is important. Um, we should not always show the negative part of our people, oh, yeah. but we have to portray the beautiful image of Gambians, 
and speak on the truth because this is important. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aisha. Amazing people as, uh, on that video and they're doing amazing things. Thank you very much for watching, viewers.